welcome back guys today we'll be solving problems on successive differentiation so let us take on the first um, problem so if y is equals to a cos ln x plus b sin ln x then prove that x square times y n plus 2 derivative times plus 2n plus 1 times x y n plus 1 derivative plus n square plus 1 y n derivative is equals to 0 so to do this copy our questions a cos ln x plus b sin ln x so first we'll differentiate to one time first order this will be a this will be minus a sin ln x now differentiation of x ln x is x 1 by x this will be b cos of ln x then again this will be x now taking the x to the left hand side this will be x y1 is equals to minus a sin ln x plus b cos ln x so differentiating this this will be x this will be y1 differentiation of x now plus x y2 this will be now differentiating this this will be minus a cos this will be x ln x minus b sin ln x upon x now again bringing the x to this side this will be x y1 plus x square y2 that is equals to now which you can we can observe that this is this term is minus of y so now arranging it and bringing all the terms on left hand side this will this looks like this so now using Leibniz rule Leibniz theorem we will differentiate all the three terms to n times so by using Leibniz theorem we get this will look like something like this and this will be like this so now let's differentiate it to n times so this will be y n plus 2 this will be x square this is we have taken as u and this as a v so now n c1 this is n this will be y n plus 1 this will be 2x now nc2 which is n into n minus 1 upon 2 times y this will be n plus 1 this will be n this will be 2 2 2 gets cancelled now we will differentiate for this the same procedure y n plus 1 times x plus nc1 this is n y n the differentiation of x is 1 plus y n is equals to 0 now arranging all the terms properly we get x square y n plus 2 now taking you now y as this will be uh, taking common here it is 2x so it is so now 2n plus 1 times x y n plus 1 this will be plus n square y n minus n y n plus n y n plus y n is equals to 0 these two terms gets cancelled out so x square y n plus 2 plus 2 n plus 1 is equal is times x y n plus 1 taking y n common n square plus 1 y n is equals to 0 so this is what we have to basically prove so this is our problem y is, if y is equal to sin inverse x whole square then we have to prove this so to do this so let us y is equals to sin inverse x whole square so differentiating it y1 is equals to 2 sin inverse of x now so differentiation sin inverse x it is 1 minus Put in x square. So taking 
this to the left hand side 1 minus x square y1 whole square 2 sine inverse x whole square so this will come out as 1 minus x square y1 square is equals to 4 y square this is our y so now differentiating it we get 1 minus x square differentiation y1 square this is 2y1 y2 minus 2x y1 square this will be 4 times 2 y1 2 y y1 so simplification 1 minus x square y2 minus x y1 is it minus 4 y is equals to 0 so now again we have to differentiate by it n times by Leibniz theorem so let us do it so this will be our 1 minus x square y n y2 n times minus x y1 n times minus 4 y n so differentiating it we get this will be y n plus 2 1 minus x square plus minus 2 n x y n plus 1 this will be minus 2 y n n n into n minus 1 upon 2 so now doing this term we get y n plus 1 times x minus n y and this will be 4 y n is equals to 0 so now arranging it 1 minus x square y n plus 2 now doing this um, this will be minus 2 n plus 1 times x y n plus 1 minus n square y n minus y n this will be plus minus n y n sorry this will be n y n and this will be 4 y n is equals to 0 so this gets cancelled out so 1 minus x square is equals to y n plus 2 2 n plus 1 x y n plus 1 taking minus common n square minus 4 y n is equals to 0 so this is what you had to prove so let us move on to our third example which is y is equals to e to the power tan inverse x so now we have to prove 1 plus x square y n plus 2 plus 2nx plus 2x minus 1 this will be y n plus 1 plus n into n plus 1 y n is equals to 0 so first we will differentiate it y1 no first we will take log on both sides this will be tan inverse x so differentiating it this will be 1 upon 1 plus x square takes cross multiplying it we get 1 plus x square y1 is equals to y so after cross multiplying we differentiate it again so we get 2 x y y1 plus 1 plus x square y2 is equals to y1 and then this will be 1 plus x square y2 and we have taken this all the left hand side and using Leibniz theorem we will differentiate it to n times so 
differentiation of this or this three terms now we'll differentiate this this is 2xy n plus 1 this will be n into 2 y n and this will be simply y n plus 1 is equals to 0 now just arranging all the terms properly 1 plus x square y n plus 2 this will be 2 n x y n plus 1 this will be n square y n minus n y n plus 2 x y n plus 1 plus 2 n y n minus y n plus 1 is equals to 0 so taking common 1 plus x square is equals times y n plus 2 taking x y n plus 1 common we get 2 n plus 2 x that is 2 2 x ok 2 n x plus 2 x now minus 1 y n plus 1 now we get this will be our uh, now we will take n common this will be n times n plus 1 y n so this is our what you have to prove so if you had any problems comment below and if you did like my video hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you